Choko Zani, Sanibunani, Dumelang, Likai, this is Koko Manzini. I am so grateful to have woken up this morning, which is a very big blessing. And everybody that woke up finally, um, actually, you must thank God and your ancestors, Uguti, you woke up. Because remember, living is a blessing on its own. It's the best, best blessing on its own. Even if you don't have anything that, everything that you wish you can have, but the fact that you are alive and you woke up and you can still talk and smile and be fresh, you are blessed even when you are sick and you just woke up that is a blessing and to everybody that is watching this video and they are sick of something i wish you heal and everybody that is in this video and are going through something i wish it passes because we need to believe and we need to know that nothing shall not pass everything that you're going through will definitely pass one way or the other it all depends on the steps and actions that you take towards you changing whatever situation that you are facing now if you know that you are a strong believer of prayer pray if you know that you are a strong believer of Gupatla Patla, if you know that you are a strong believer of umuti use umuti and most definitely everything shall come to pass good there is coco manzini please don't forget to hit on the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so that you get notifications on every videos that we do that is very important and don't forget to not skip the videos watch the videos watch the videos watch the videos that actually supports the channel which is very small and want to grow but uh growing to me is something else the main thing that i want to do is to serve the ancestors and send the message to the people but don't forget also to watch the videos don't hit the skip button watch the video until it's finished and then you can continue um watch the ad until it's finished then you can continue with the video so i think a, a few months back i did a video about online consultations and then i said i'm going to stop them but then i said i'm gonna come back to you and let you know when i'm gonna stop them now i'm stopping them the time is now if you want to do an online consultation with me know that i am not doing online consultations anymore until further notice i don't get time to sit and do consultations i really don't not anymore the queue is long there's a list of people that are waiting for their consultations now and when people book consultations, I've got a feeling that they feel like they owe you or they own you because they paid you 700 rand for consultation. You know, so when people book online consultations, they will be harassing you. Hey, Coco, when do we consult? When do we consult? That is my money. I, 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 700 rand. And then I'm gonna go through depressions and I'm gonna go through stresses because someone paid seven hundred dollars and they know they're being disrespectful. Can you believe it? I have worked so much to be where I am than to be harassed by nonsense here seven hundred rand. It's an online consultation that I decided that I want to do for people that are far or people that cannot be able to access me or to reach me, like people overseas, like people whoever. So I want you to know that those impatient people, they've messed it up for you, not for me. I'm not doing online consultations anymore. The ones that have paid online consultations, I will definitely consult them. I have started. I'm doing my backlogs. I'm calling you guys. I'm consulting you properly. So not in any way of of in echo right or something like that i'm going to continue doing your online consultations when you have paid and you are on my line please remind me Goko, we have an online consultation send me your full payment and then we will do because i'm getting a lot of traffic on my messages i don't get time for myself anymore i don't get time for anything i am very busy and to those people that were enjoying online consultations to those people that were still wanting to pay online consultations i am very sorry people have messed it up for you so if you want to consult with me you need to come to my place and then we consult and then we know that there is nothing behind people will send you messages five times a day People that does online that wants to do online consultations, they don't consider that I have in Dumba in this house where I work. I've got people coming in. So you cannot say Umundu Onga Pandle must wait and then you are doing an online consultation because they took their time to be here. 
people that book online consultations, they forget that you also have things to do. We might set an appointment for three o'clock, let's say, and then three o'clock, five clients come in the Dumba. I focus on them. Three o'clock, I get a meeting that I need to be in an interview somewhere, I rush. If I rush to the interview, you send me a message and then you say, uh, Gok, I'm waiting for my interview. And then I tell, let's say maybe I don't answer in five minutes because I'm on the road or I'm in the interview. When I come back to my phone, there's a long message. Yeah, I don't like that. What, 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 what? Oh, oh, oh. Uh-uh. No. So for my own piece, I'm going to work with people that want to work with me. If you want to have an, a, a consultation with me, please drive. Please Uber. Please take a car or do something, but come to me and then we will consult. But online consultations, I am not doing them anymore. Don't pay for them again. We don't do online consultations because I don't want to end up saying things to people that I don't want to say. The other thing that is on the line is the orders. I'm definitely coming to the point where I'm going to stop orders as well. Because sometimes I don't get time to deliver the time that I wanted to deliver. Well, I mean, there's people that orders, Shem, and they know, Gogo, you're busy. They know, Gogo, you're busy. They would say, Gogo, take your time, we'll get about it. You will get your order. There's no way that you won't get your order. But if you start saying words to me that are going to be bad, I'm going to curse you. So before I curse people because of things that they paid for, I'm going to stop. So the orders we still take, but somewhere down the line, I will stop taking orders. If you want Isban Belelo, you will come here and take his bambelelo sako. If you want anything, you will come here. I don't care where you are. You will have to make means to come to me because it's stress and his phone. Okay? I don't want stress. I'm not doing online consultations anymore. Orders, I'm still doing. There's a lot of orders that are still here behind. I still need to fix those orders and then make sure that they're out. And then I still need to fix those consultations and make sure that people are consulted. But I'm going to stop it. So the only way Enzo Seben Zangayo Manje is going to be you coming in, Dumbin. Till further notice. Till further notice. You know, people... Like a person that orders upon dollar 7,000. Is going to keep quiet and not say anything. A person that orders is to say 500. Yay! Yo! Yo! I understand. That is like what you paid for. You need to get. But the words you guys use when you talk to people you don't know. I wonder how you were raised. I know that people have been scammed like they paid. I know. But a person that can scam you, we are born. Do you think I can scam you 100 rand? 600 rand? 2,000 rand? No. So just for that, Abanya Bantu now, they are in problem. They are in trouble because they are very far, but they can't come to me. But from today, online consultations are a no. Koko Manzini, I'm out of here. Love you.